hello hello my name is kajo thank you for coming to my channel today we'll be talking about my first boudoir photo shoot experience and i'll be giving advice to models and anyone who's interested in doing boudoir in the near future in the far future or just curious in general first things first what is a boudoir photo shoot according to google Boudoir photography is a form of professional photography that is intimate, flattering the curves, and the beauty of the client's body. Oftentimes when people hear boudoir, they think it's solely lingerie, and most of the time it is lingerie. However, you can kind of choose the level of skin exposure that you want, unless you're working for a brand where they're like, okay, we want you in a thong and this bra, then you know, whatever. But if you are just a regular schmegular person and you're looking for a boudoir photographer, usually they work with clients who want to do lingerie, but you could also do a t-shirt if you wanted. But the, the whole thing about boudoir is that it, there's implications of intimacy and sexuality and, and femininity, right? So that would be a lot of curves and pushing your, your, your bust up or pushing your butt back and and elongating your neck and moving your body there's an implication of like I said sexuality intimacy and it doesn't have to just be lingerie but it usually is so I've been modeling for almost two and a half three years um, I've only really seriously been modeling for the last year since I have recently graduated from undergrad um, last December so I've been able to put more time and resources in actually building my portfolio and being able to travel out to the photo shoots right that's just a little something about me but my philosophy is that or specifically for me is that I will not do boudoir early on in my modeling career and obviously you see that I'm doing it and I'll explain why I did it but I did not want to get in the habit of only doing boudoir because once people find out that you do, that's quick, quickly, that's all the offers or DMs or emails that you get and it'll be from professionals and people who are just weirdos and want to do, just want to take pictures of naked women and we don't like that, right? Oh, well, I wasn't naked by the way, but they'll, there's the implication that we talked about. Boudoir is very intimate and sexual, so they just want to take pictures of women. So I, for a while, really stayed away from that. Stayed away from like swimsuits, stayed away from undergarments. I didn't want anything really mirroring boudoir because I did want to actually build my portfolio and be taken seriously. And I'm not going to say that just because you do boudoir means that you are not a serious model or there's something wrong with you as a person. Absolutely not. But I know how easy it is for me to get stuck in that because I am shorter and I am curvier, right? You're probably wondering, okay girl, you're saying how you wouldn't do it and all these reasons why you wouldn't do it, but you did it. Why? I'll tell you why, right? So I am signed to two agencies, Helen Wells and IMD. So it's a really good regional agency. I got booked through them so it wasn't a single photographer reaching out to me and saying hey like i, I, I saw your instagram page and i think you're gorgeous like we should collaborate do you have a thong question mark uh no i do not i don't own any matter of fact right <sighs> let me get back into character <laughs> but i got booked through them it was through imaging usa it is a huge four-day convention that serves as an educational purpose for photographers so I was really skeptical about accepting the casting, you know, but you know, I was like, you know what, this is the one time I'll do it, I'll experience it. Based off of the explanation they gave me is for educational purposes, there will be an instru instructor with me. I wouldn't be with just one photographer at a time, it would be almost like a class. And I was like, you know what, I can get behind that. That's something that I would, I didn't feel weird about. But before the shoot, I was like, okay, I don't have 
and me lingerie because they had asked us to bring a couple pieces and i was just like i don't really ha i don't have any so i had to go shopping for it which was really weird because it's like around valentine's day too and i'm like i don't want anyone thinking <laughs> whatever <laughs> but i had to shop for it i bought a bodysuit um was that's the picture that you see in the, um, my YouTube thumbnail, but it kind of looked like a swimsuit, so I was kind of okay, like, posting that as a thumbnail, but it was a nice bodysuit, and I was like, okay, cool, and then I actually got some lingerie pieces, which I will not be showing anybody. I will not be posting those. That's just not something that I'm comfortable with, right? So I had to do that, and when I got there that day, it was at this giant convention center. It's the Kentucky International Convention Center. That's where they had it this year. I think they move around where they have the convention. Um, this is Imaging USA, just as a reminder. I go in and it's huge. And they're like, okay, the models go downstairs. And it's like, okay, you have to go down an escalator and then go up some stairs that's downstairs. It's really, it was really big. That's all I'm gonna say. It was really, really big. And we are in the, I guess the model waiting room we're gonna get makeup and hair done and there are other models there who aren't boudoir they're part of like a a wedding session that the photographers are photographers are going to have others are like for kids or sports you know and throughout the convention they had lectures and forums for the photographers i met people who had fl flown in from canada california new jersey new orleans like all over the country and i'm like okay you know, it made me feel a little better. Um, we got our pieces. We met with the instructor. The instructor was a woman. Super, super nice. Um, another instructor was a woman as well. All the instructors were women, actually. And I think they recognized that it would make us more comfortable and it's a bit safer that way. But they talked to us and said, hey, wear what is comfortable to you. We have some a couple of pieces or you can wear some of the pieces that you brought. But they told us, like, hey if any of the photographers are being pushy rude um, making you uncomfortable say something and they will be removed from the premise from the room and they will not be allowed to enter back into that session that was reaffirming really a reaffirming to me and the other models because none of us had ever done it before and we're like you know what we're not going to be like surrounded by a whole bunch of creepy people and like have to fend for ourselves that was not the situation and I and in that moment it solidified more that I made the right decision to um, doing this photo shoot and it's paid by the way this is not like a trade for print thing it's well paid cool so during the session um, there will be there was maybe <laughs> maybe there was a hundred photographers in this giant room it's pretty it's a big room i don't want to say room and then you think like oh your bedroom or a classroom like it's bigger than that not as big as like a gymnasium but it's a big 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 room and there's four backdrops four different sets of lights and four different like props i had a couch another person had a, a chair another person had a stool another one was had like blankets laid out on the floor there was like a mattress that they would and i think it was an air mattress right so we would be set in our places and we'd stay there and i was actually used as the first test subject of like teaching the photographer photographers of what to do so the instructor comes and says hey usually when i work with a client i do x y and z um for her because like we said boudoir is generally like woman for women or for couples and photog these photographers are either individuals who Oh my god, photographer. You saying the word photographer is <sighs> annoying. I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm getting tongue tied with it. But some of these individuals have been in boudoir for years, and there are others who have never done boudoir, and there are some people who had never done photography in their life. So, this was truly, truly an educational um, experience for them and for me, honestly. So she would tell me like, hey, like put your arm here, twist like this, don't forget to breathe, smile. She would talk me through, show them like, okay, this is the kind of things you want to say to your client. Um, even though I'm a professional, a lot of times they want to make sure that they know how to work with a client, someone who may not be as comfortable in the camera. So they asked me to like, you know, lay, lay my skills down for a little bit, you know, like put it on the 
the back burner and let the photographers tell me what to do and talk me through and stuff and they would do that and throughout um, the session the different instructors would come and check on me and the other um, models and say hey like are you good do you need water has anyone been rude you know and it was it was nice to constantly be checked up on constantly be reassured and they're like oh are you sure and I'm like yeah I'm positive I'm positive I'm good and they're like okay good right it was a very open and positive environment that being said I was getting my photo taken by at least at least 20 people at a time they would be all laid out not laid out they could be standing sitting kneeling whatever taking my photos telling me oh, okay can we do this move on um can we do that move and I, I would listen to them and like say hey like they were like move your arm i'm like which arm they're like oh your right arm my apologies um they would be very encouraging and give me compliments and say you look amazing and thank you for doing this and it was a very positive experience and i know most of you guys will not have that experience of mine it's very it's not common for regular people or even models to be a part of an educational experience like that not every model will experience that not even personal experience that i'm being repetitive redundant but whatever um but if, overall it was a good experience for me and at some point i got into the flow of things i'm like you know what i'm just gonna model right because this is also a chance for them to build their portfolio <clears throat> so and honestly I wanted to challenge myself and say like okay how many poses could I do um how well can I move like how, how much endurance do I have because these sessions we had two sessions one was a morning session and one was an afternoon session the morning session was from 10 a.m to 1 p.m I was modeling moving and posing and holding and twisting for 10 to 11 11 to 12 12 to 1 three hours straight right and then I did the same thing in the afternoon session after we had lunch from two to five, just modeling the entire time. We take like maybe small little breaks of like two, three, five minutes, have some water, you know, and the photographers are moving. It's not like you see the same 20 people from the morning session or the afternoon session. Like people are rotating and moving around the room and they're coming back and they're like, oh, new prop, I have to go back. Oh my goodness, new pose, let me try to um, get this photo. And I think another advantage was that I am a dark skin model and the other models are fair skin. And a lot of times, unfortunately, there are photographers who aren't exposed to um, people of color or darker tone clients or models in general and they may not know how to do the proper settings or do proper editing and the instructors would be like hey like you see how in this setting you make her look a little too warm maybe that looks good on other clients but not on her and they'd help them like adjust that setting and it all it also helped that um my instructor was also a person of color so she she knows what she's talking about as well and it I never felt disrespected simply because I didn't know but if you're in an area where you only work with X amount of clients because that's literally the demographic I can't blame you for that right and I'm not mad at that I'm not mad at that but like I said it was overall like the core of this shoot was educational experience and there were photographers that and I'm like taking a break for a while they'd come to me and we'd have a conversation you know they're like oh like okay so what would make a client feel more comfortable or um oh how could i better um, do x y and z and i would talk them through it about my experience or what i think photographers should do more and like it was a very it was it was a very high vibrational moment and i bonded with the other models because like we were practicing we weren't naked but you know like we were all in lingerie and I've probably shown more skin that day than I have ever, especially in front of a camera. We bonded. We were practically naked together. We bonded. And and it also helps that they were all uh, Sagittarius's because, you know, we're the best. But we bonded. We had lunch together. We were laughing together. We were hurting and, and being sore together. It was 100% one of the best experiences that I had. And that is why I chose to do boudoir. And I want to keep emphasizing that my experience is very unique to me because the likelihood that you would do this is, is slim to none. Slim to none. Um, but that's why I chose to do boudoir. 
you do not have to choose to do boudoir just because it's for educational purposes and there's like some high moral ground i'm not saying i'm more uh, morally sound than you right but as far as like in a professional setting i just did not want to do boudoir so early on and then be stuck in it okay so i listed 13 tips or advice for anyone who is thinking about doing boudoir okay number one if you're 22 and under don't do it we talked about that we talked about how boudoir has intimate and sexual implications and i do not believe that if you're a young girl that you should do that and if you're a model you know you don't want to be stuck in that and there are a lot of predators in the industry and you just want to stay away from that for as long as you can until you build a portfolio you build more confidence from the camera you are better at setting your boundaries with photographers or people around you this is not something that you should be looking into so early on tip number two your first 15 to 20 shoots should not be boudoir so Let's just assume everyone here is a model, right? You want to make sure you're building up your portfolio. And like I said, you want to build confidence in front of the camera. You want to have a, a strong set of boundaries. Don't let the first 15 to 20 shoots be boudoir. Number three, to, uh, for the first two or three years, no boudoir. I feel like two or three years, you should have at least 15 to 20 shoots. And number four, I kind of foreshadow at this understand your boundaries right so before you decide you want to do boudoir before you go to a shoot make a list of boundaries that absolutely cannot cross one of my things is the photographer cannot touch me without asking me like hey can I maybe perhaps move your right arm to your shoulder or can you or I would prefer for them to direct me than touch me right especially if it's somebody that I don't know um, or it's my first time you don't you don't want that um, and the language they use um, how they set it up um, where they want to have the shoot um, and they will allow you to have someone there with you you need to set boundaries of okay if they don't allow these things or if they don't do these things or if they do these things then I cannot work with them and you need to vet photographers when you reach out to them you need to analyze a setting let's say you're a mod like a, a model and you got hired for it so you can't really vet the photographer before you need to really take in your environment and analyze what's going on and maybe talk to your agent say hey I'm going is it okay if like if anything goes wrong I just text you and like I leave and after like yes of course and one that's a good agent that's one that's a good agency but it makes you feel um safe for knowing someone has your back so please 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 set boundaries number five and this kind of goes in with number four have someone you trust with you so this goes to models, this goes to regular schmegler people. If you're doing boudoir for the first time and you don't feel that confident, you don't feel that confident, or you're just nervous about the situation, sorry, I, I'm trying to think about how to word this, um, ask to bring someone with you. Models, if you were booked, right, usually you won't be the only person there. So that should be okay but if you're a model and you hired a photographer paid a photographer to take your photos you should be able to bring someone with you if anyone says and this goes for regular clients as well or regular people as well if a photographer does not let you bring someone that is not a good sign that is ill intention that's weird vibes creep you don't want to be around that you can bring your mom if you have that relationship with your mom you can bring your best friend you can bring um, someone who's older a little older than you or someone you look up to there's power in numbers and you will feel more comfortable and confident and speaking up when there's someone there to back you up number six shoot with a woman first I am not discrediting male photographers at all however 
you will feel more comfortable with a female photographer than a male photographer, especially in boudoir, especially if you've never done it before, and especially if you are not professional. It's the reality of it. Number seven, and this also goes into your boundaries. You don't need to be naked, and you can choose your level of skin coverage or exposure. And I mentioned this before. You don't have to wear a thong and socks and no bra and have it all out. You know, they don't, you don't have to show your nookie on camera. You can decide how much you want to show. If you booked a photographer, you're paying a photographer and you want to do it in a t-shirt, you can do it in a t-shirt. It is up to, it is up to the photographer. I'm sorry. I, it's a tongue twister to be creative with what the client wants. If the client wants to do it in a football jersey, then they need to better have a better backdrop or better setting and better props and different lighting and different editing styles to give that boudoir effect in your football jersey that you want to wear. Number eight, you're there now and you want to get into the groove of things, you don't feel comfortable fully yet, play music. Play music that you like, play music that is that feeds your soul and sexuality and in your intimate soft side it will make the shoot fun it'll make it better you'll be out of your head it won't be like this weird white noise <laughs> eerie white noise of you just moving around and someone flashing a camera you know put music it adds a nice barrier between you and yourself between you and your thoughts number nine to prepare for the shoot right and let's say comfortable all that stuff move past that do pilates and yoga a lot of things that you'll be doing are things where you'll be arching your back twisting your waist elongating your neck and holding it pilates and yoga i don't want to say like the purpose of it but a lot of it is holding poses and that would properly help you prepare to be in those poses, to be twisting like that. You don't want to be hurting. You don't want to be underprepared. Number 10, big girl stretch. Pilates and yoga will definitely help, but you need to stretch. Let's say you don't like Pilates, you don't like yoga, but you know how to pose and that's enough for you. That's completely fine. But for at least a couple of days before the shoot or maybe a week, stretch every day if you haven't touched your toes since 09 what makes you think you can touch your toes in 24 nothing nothing stretch 11 make a pinterest board so i'd never done boudoir and i was nervous about it so <laughs> i went on pinterest of course because i'm a pinterest girly and i went and found pictures that i like put them on my board and for a week right before the shoot, I would practice it like every other day. Number 12, this is the last one. I know I said 13, but it was actually 12. Whoop. Do your research and have an open conversation. Do your research on the photographer. Do your research on the type of boudoir you wanna want. You wanna want, oh my God. You wanna do um, the vibe you want, the setting you want. Have an open conversation with the photographer well before you book them during the shoot or like right before the shoot after the shoot of when to expect of what to expect be very clear on what you want all right thank you for watching my video i hope that answered any questions you guys might have had if you do have questions leave them in the comment section i'll try to answer them as soon as i get them i'll leave my pinterest board in the description box if you are serious about doing boudoir and you want a starting point of like what kind of poses to do you can use my pinterest board as a reference please make your own as well and i just want to say please be safe everyone be safe have fun and be confident in yourself all right. Bye. I love you. Mwah.